Anchor through the heart of the BC Eagles NCAA hopes. But after a huge win over number 11 Miami on Sunday, the Eagles' chances for March Madness are still alive. College at 500, Providence a game under. Both teams trying to move up in that East Division. Hi again, everybody. Dave Sims along with Ron Perry. Glad you could join us tonight. It's a terrific matchup this evening. And when we start talking about Boston College, we've got to talk about this backcourt. One of the best combos in the country. Talking about Troy Bell and Ryan Sidney. No question about it. They're having a sensational year, not only in the Big East, but when you compare them to other guards in the country, Troy Bell, Ryan Sidney. And Sidney, a real slashing player, loves to take it to the goal, defends. He's the top rebounder on the team. And Troy Bell can fill it up from anywhere, three-point land. They're there's Sydney to the bucket. These two guys really make BC go. They score, they defend, and they make the crowd get involved here at Conti Forum. Top two scorers on the team combined for 47 against Miami this past Sunday in the win. And BC undefeated at 9-0 when they combined for 40 or more points. Outstanding. Providence is going to counter with basketball's best little big man. Check this out, John Linehan, a difference maker on the defensive end. Can he disrupt BC again for the second time this season? We'll find out coming up next. Hungry? You've come to the right place. The home of great brands and great taste. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Still hungry? Conagra has the foods America craves at mealtime, snack time, or any time. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. the highest payout slot machines in New England. Do you like to play? To better serve you, we have added more video slot machines and a new non-smoking area. Then let the games begin. Where it pays to play. Step back in time. Come along to the new Newport Grand. Free parking and free admission are just a few of the reasons why it pays to play at Newport Grand High Life. Where it pays to play. Liberty Bell 7, a national treasure finally recovered. Share in the adventure with AT&T Broadband and Discovery Wings Channel. Come to the Museum of Science in Boston to experience the lost spacecraft Liberty Bell 7 recovered. An interactive touring exhibit including the actual space capsule recovered from the ocean floor after nearly 40 years. Exhibit media partner AT&T Broadband is proud to be a part of the Liberty Bell 7 experience. Now through March 24th at the Museum of Science in Boston. With AT&T Broadband and Discovery Wings Channel, the story of Liberty Bell 7 continues. Remember when things weren't so complicated? When life's little chores were a welcome part of your busy day? People in business help make life better for you and your community. That was true when we began in 1911. And with us, it's still true today. A bank that treats its customers like a number. Wellesley Cooperative Bank. With us, you're always number one. to buy advanced auto parts the best part is our people cooper tires a lot of mileage for the money cooper tires drive on and by hyundai where driving is believing come test drive the full lineup of exciting new cars at your local hyundai dealer today we're at the county forum on the campus of boston college chestnut hill mass for big east basketball 
Starting lineups tonight will be Aaron, uh, Aaron rather, Latsa, Gomes, Mills, and Linehan. Guys who like to shoot from the outside, they put a premium on that run. They really do. Andron and La Lexa can really fill it up. Gomes can do a nice job in the middle, and Mills Linehan's going to be a great matchup with Bell in Sydney tonight. Walls Ag by Durnkamp, Bell in Sydney. Durnkamp gives you some size, some length in the middle. Ag by is a pretty good power forward, one of the better ones in the conference. I think the boards will be key in this game. Neither team has really dominated their opponents off the glass. The glass will be important, taking good care of the ball, and who can fill it up tonight? 21-year-old Tim Welsh out of Potsdam State, class of 1984. Put up some good numbers since he's been at Providence. And Al Skinner, the coach of the year in the Big East Conference last year. Last year won five National Coach of the Year, of the year awards. Having another good season. Not quite as dynamic as last year, but they're in contention now to make a little bit of a run these final five games. Here's what the series history looks like. It's been mostly Providence. 64-61 the last time they met down at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence. BC, pretty good record here at home. They won both meetings last year. The series dates back to 1942. Last time Providence had a win in this building was January 16th of 99, and we are underway. Our officials tonight, John Fockerty out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Donnie Gray out of Bryant's Ford, Maryland, and Joe Lindsay out of Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Friars open up man-to-man. -man. They really got after BC first time. They'll play some zone as well. Oh, nice finish! Acrobatic shot by Troy Bell. Talking to Troy today in the shooter, and he said, I'm going north south against John Linehan. If I go east-west, he kills me. He gets up in here, so I'm going right at him. So that's going to be a big key today. Best way I can describe Bell for this game is focus, Dave. He looks ready. He knows this is a must-win for the Eagles. A foul way outside. Agby fouls Mills. And that'll be a three spot for Abdul Mills. Don't want to foul that jump shooter. And that was a three shot one. How about Bell on that one though? Quick on the dime. He's not even squared away on that one where you have your shoulders facing the hoop. And he's athletic enough to put the finish on. He's a great player. Getting late in the season. Out on the line. Could be even a little bit chippy. <laughs> Money time, Dave. This is where you've got to step up. Put the heat on and make that run, and BC knows it now. Five and five in the conference, 16-7 overall. They know they've got to get this game. Mills, the leading scorer for the Friars. Let's look at Al Skinner, his club last year. Surprised everybody. They won the Big East Conference regular season and the tournament. Mills at 68%, two out of three to get the Friars going. You know, for Providence, too, 14-11, 5-6. They want to get it. They want to have that series victory, two games against Boston College, and see if they can get a playoff run going as well. Kenny Wall steps outside, nails it down. That's a two. We talk a lot about Sidney and Bell, but Walls can be the guy, if he's hot, if he has a good game, that can lift BC to where they need to go. It's like so many teams. If you can get three guys scoring, it makes all the difference. You figure you're going to get two, but that third guy can really turn the tables for you. It's BC, tight man-to-man, -man, very aggressive right out of the gates. Agby wins that battle against Laxa. Bell in a hurry. Got it up and in. Boy, he's energized tonight. Troy Bell, leading scorer in the Big East Conference. No surprise, timeout, Providence. That's a good timeout by Tim Wells. He's saying, hey, we can't let BC go north-south on us. We can't allow the transition to be up and down. Last couple of years, BC is 80 and 0 when they get the transition game going. Agby nearly picked up number two on that steal. Troy Bell, he is just getting after it early. He's got two of the first three hoops for BC. And this is defense creating good offense, prompting Providence to call timeout and see if they can settle things down. Last time they met, 64-61. Linehan went for 13 points. He had six assists, nine steals in 36 minutes. John shot five for nine as well. And the little guy is just, I'm glad I'm sitting here. Just put it that way. I'll tell you what, if you have a, have a basketball and John's out in the court, he is one of the best defenders in the nation from the guard spot. I just don't think anyone gets after you better than Linehan, and those steals really prove the point out. Troy Bell in the first meeting, four of 11, two for seven from three. Too strong by Laxa. Sydney, their leading rebounder, comes down with it. Sydney's unbelievable. 6'2", he's long, and he can hit the boards. Oh, and how about coming from the weak side? <laughs> Linehan took it out of Bell's hands. 
He's so quick. If you have the ball anywhere in the neighborhood, John Linehan gets it, and Troy Bell very quick with the basketball. Agby didn't make the connection. Linehan is going to take it all away. Smart move by Bell. I pick up a stupid foul in a situation like that early in the game at 6-3. And that's Providence's game. Good timeout by Tim Welsh. They settle it down. They get a hoop. And here's that pressure, Bell and Linehan. Just remarkable. Walls, deep three, no good. Look at Linehan. He beat Brian Sidney, who's pretty doggone quick. Linehan takes it all the way. Blocked by Sidney. Nicely done. And here comes Kenny Walls. The counterattack by Boston College. Sidney in a hurry. Got it up. No good. Contact. And I'll keep it right here. A tie up, says Donnie Gray. Bell and Sidney got the Jets going tonight. Wow, you're seeing some real quickness. Look at Linehan, but how about Sidney at 6-2 gets up to block that shot. Second man in, a lot of times gets it. Bell there, slows him down. There's Sidney, 6-2 with the long arms. He's up at the box on that one. Perfect coordination on that one. Bell didn't give him a good avenue. There's a turnover. Sidney back the other way. Three on two. Sidney right at the glass. Won't go. And a rebound. Goes to Mills. Mills back the other way. Three games. <laughs> Take a little something riding on this one. Mills, nicely done off the left side. Up off the pace right now, up and down. If it stays this way, more in favor of BC, although Providence showing you they've got some quickness as well. They've got the 2-3 zone going, and a nice job by the Friars. Down 6-1, timeout, right back in the game. Austin College fourth in scoring in the conference this week. Providence is eighth. And defensively, Providence is ninth in scoring defense against number 12 for BC. That's a three for Kenny Walls. And nice job by Nagby to knock it off of Ryan Gomes. Boston College coming off a win against Miami on Sunday, 76-63. That completed the season sweep of the Canes. Fourth straight over Miami. And Providence on Saturday had a win against Virginia Tech, 77-69. with a steal. Wax is showing some ball handling skills. Sets up Linehan. Drop back for three. No good. Bell rebounds. Oh, no question. Both teams looking to run early. And Providence does an excellent job right there. They've got to get back on defense. Force this to be more of a half-court game. They work something for Dornkamp. Couldn't get it up on the glass. Nate saves it, but a little bit too strong for Kenny Walls. And BC getting some good opportunities. Perhaps a little rushed to try to get some of these shots to go down. Keep your patience, make that extra pass, get a good look. Providence hanging right in there. Look, the only, almost like a start of a boxing match. You really come out flailing, test each other. Oh, yeah. Teams are settling I mean, in a little. No pity pass. Throw a couple bombs early, see how they react. <laughs> see if they're still standing. Good hedge, stopping Mills. Run a hand with 12 on the shot clock. Good rotation. Get it to Anrich. Boy, that's a rare muscle move by Anrich. Shot it short. Yeah, Anrich and Lax are both outstanding shooters. They need some space, though, to get the shots off. Cross court. Bell, wide open three. Got it. Troy Bell shooting 30% from three-point range. He's got seven. Lax are back the other way. Boy, great start for Bell. That's positive for BC. Anrich, no. Rebound, Sydney. How about Sidney? He's a difference maker. Get it and let's go. He's versatile. He's up Kenny and down. Balls. Nice pass. Contact and a foul. Troy Bell with the bucket. It's 11-5 Boston College. Boy, the level of determination by Boston College is stunning tonight. Well, you get that feeling. Must win situation. Backs up against the wall. Check out the passing. Outstanding. Walls at the end. Sidney. Walls. The finish. Check it out from the rebound. It's not a hesitation time. It's get it and go. Sydney rebounds, leads the break, and check out Wall. Beautiful job to Bell. Boston College two and a half games behind first place Connecticut in the Big East East, and they are determined. They want to be a factor, try to get that first round by. Take a break. Bell with a fantastic start. He's got 10 of the 12 points and a 12-5 Boston College start.
Why are more and more people test driving the Hyundai Elantra? Ask Michael Leto. I drive a thousand miles a week and the gas mileage is outstanding. And the new 2002 Elantra has so many standard features, including front and side airbags, air conditioning, stereo cassette and power package, plus the freedom of the Hyundai Advantage, America's best warranty plan. At just $13,294, it's easy to see why more people are driving home the new Hyundai Elantra. Freedom is calling, yeah. Hyundai, helping kids fight cancer. Newport Grand Highlight like has the highest payout slot machines in New England. Do you like to play? To better serve you, we have added more video slot machines and a new non-smoking area. Then let the games begin. Where it pays to play. Step back in time. Come along to the new Newport Grand. Free parking and free admission are just a few of the reasons why it pays to play at Newport Grand Highlight. Like. Where it pays to play. Lumber Liquidators has hardwood flooring for less. Look at these deals on sale right now. Solid oak flooring at 99 cents per square foot. First quality Dura Wood prefinished oak flooring for an incredible $2.45 per square foot. Prefinished exotic rose mahogany flooring at $1.99 per square foot. Also now in stock, the best prefinished flooring made. Husky Coat 50 year prefinished flooring from $2.95 a square foot. For the best deals on real hardwood flooring, visit Lumber Liquidators. Call 1 877 Mill Direct or LumberLiquidators.com. Early on here, it's Boston College, 12 to 5 over Providence here. And John Linehan seeing the defense of Ryan Sidney, who's a guy, look at this, the block at one end, gets that rebound, and then he can lead the break for it. Well, that's the thing. He, he's really a versatile player. He'd go inside, handle the ball, shoot, and he just gives BC that emotional lift. Leads the team in rebounding, as well as Biggie Scars, but he's 6 2, plays much bigger. Sure does. Mills way outside. Marcus Douthat in the game. A little too strong, and rebound goes to Dornkamp. Dornkamp, the seven-foot freshman, he looks solid early. Sure does. Nate going hard to the hole. Too hard to get an offensive foul. Nice job hanging in there. Rob Sanders to draw the foul. Sanders, another freshman, good athletic move. He got the position. Dornkamp catches that thing in traffic. I'd been better with the big fella to let him establish before giving them that ball flying down the lane as you TBC shooting it well early. And how about Bell? Perfect from the floor. That's a great start. Boston College seventh in field goal percentage. Providence 13th in the Big East Conference. Sanders up top. Sanders drive down the lane and he gets an offensive foul. Kenny Wall standing in there taking the ball. Well, both teams looking to get things done in a hurry. Got to have a little bit more patience. Looked like Walls might have hit great position. Might have turned in a little bit, but no question, he was established in the lane. Bell with Sydney, Walls, Dornicamp, and Agby, the starting lineup for BC. Good ball movement. Yuka inside with the lefty hook. No, tip that goes to Mills. Two on two. Mills leaps for Gomes. Gets the layup to roll down. Ryan Gomes, good looking freshman forward out of Waterbury, Connecticut. Now Gomes has had an outstanding season in the middle. What a pleasant surprise for Tim Welsh and the Friars. He's had a 31-point game this year against Miami. Outstanding. Wow, nice feed by Sydney for the jam. The you gag by. Well, you can tell the BC the quicker. They make things happen. The penetration, aggressiveness, there's no question about it. They're fired up. Look at Sydney with the penetration, the dish. Good things happen when your guards get into the lane and penetrate, break people down in the backcourt. Last 14 times these clubs have met, Providence has won nine of those games. They do pretty well here at Boston College, an 8-5 and five record. They got it down low that time. Good combo. Work by two big guys, Gomes to Dalton. Love seeing that when your big people have their heads up and Gomes with a good pass that time to his front court mate. Dalton with his first field goal. Sydney took it right at John Linehan. Jumped right over. 16-9, BC. Back the other way, Dalton. Well, a heck of a job by Dalton to get the shot up and gets a foul on Dorian Camp. That'll be his second. 
to break for Providence. I thought it was lucky that Doubt that was able to get to the ball. Very smart on his part to catch it and chuck that ball up toward the goal. Now Skinner saying, hey, he was just trying to save the ball. My man didn't push him from behind, but nevertheless, the call, a push. Let's see, Doubt it. Got the left hand on his back. Touch foul in a way, but it's in a bad position. That's why he picked it up. Could have gone either way. Could have been a no call. Yep. The hand was on the back, though. Andrew Bryant getting some early playing time here. Mills makes Bryant leave his defensive position. Good fake. Just about seven minutes in here. Good start here for Boston College. Abdel Mills drills one from deep. Yeah, Mills off to an excellent start. Mills can put some points on the board, leads the team in scoring, and of course, Linehan, the defensive specialist, out in the backcourt. Mills with six. He's their go-to guy for three-point completions. Here's Bell. He's got room, and he hit it. Well, he's on tonight. Boy, Troy, Troy came over during the shootaround, and you could tell, focus, ready to go. He's got 13 points on five of five shooting, and then they just turned it over. It'll be Boston College ball. You talk about intensity, you talk about focus. Early in this game, that's BC. Providence trying to hang right in there. Agbai got the shot off. Can't get it to go. Bryant rebounds. Bryant steadies, but he turns it over, says John Fockety. And a turnover for the Eagles. Get the ball down that low. As a general rule, go right back up with it. If you hesitate, you tend to have problems. Yuka Agbai is going to get a blow right now. Brian Ross, senior from North Quincy, Mass, comes in. Well, Ross had his best game two games ago. The Virginia Tech tough loss off the bench with 16. He can shoot it. Played well. Six of eight. Four for five from three-point range. So you got the front court guy drilling from deep. That's, that's a heck of a, an item to have on your attack. Oh, man. Talk about going after the glass. I think Douthat will get credit for that. He and Sanders were up there. Above the rim. Great job by the Friars. Kenny Walls, long stroke, long rebound. Kenny can't get it. Mills will get it. Four on two, will pop for three. And then Bell back the other way. Bell pull up. First miss tonight. He's five out of six. Good battle underneath, and Douthat comes away with it. Douthat done a nice job for the Friars off the bench, both ends of the floor. Douthat averaged just under five boards a game in his 19 minutes a game. But he looked terrific last year in the front court. I know yep. he's had some ups and downs this year. A lot of talent, and he can really give the Friars a lift in the paint. 6'10", sophomore. They go down low. Lacks a turnaround jumper. He got hit. He'll shoot a couple. Kenny Walls can't believe it, but again, with the quickness BC has, get your hand up, but, you know, with Laxa and Ren, the foot speed there for BC, don't, don't foul on the play, but a good move by Laxa to get it off. Check out the turnaround. Catches him on the arm. Two guys. Number 22, Laxa shooting two. Laxa's got some really good international experience playing for the Latvian junior national team a couple years ago. You know, if you're looking at shooting for him, too, he has just got picture-perfect form. He's got the hands across the seams, and watch the rotation when he lets it go. You talk about shooting for him. Check out that follow-through with the right hand and the rotation. Just perfect. Like so many European big men, they can really stroke it. we got a timeout, 11-24 to go first half. Critical game in the Big East Conference. Boston College leading by three. Troy Bell firing up tonight. He's only missed one from the field. At Advanced Auto Parts, we believe in doing it yourself. So we made this commercial ourselves. We had Florence here check out the prices of our competitors versus ours. Do you have the results? But first, Florence, would you ever lie to millions of Americans who really want to believe that someone on TV is capable of telling the truth? Never. Go. Advance is still the queen of low prices. Queen, Florence? As long as I'm here. Queen's fine. Why are more and more people test driving the Hyundai Sonata? Ask Jamie Bohan. It's very luxurious. It's very dependable. And now we're introducing the redesigned mid-size 2002 Sonata. V6 power, automatic transmission, front and side airbags, and stereo CD. Plus, the freedom of the Hyundai Advantage, America's best warranty plan. At just $16,994, it's easy to see why more people are driving home the new 2002 Hyundai Sonata. 
Hyundai, helping kids fight cancer. President's Day is a time to honor the nation's greatest leaders. Like Ford Explorer, America's best-selling SUV 11 years straight. And during Ford's President's Day sales event at your New England Ford dealer, get a four-wheel drive Ford Explorer for just $379 a month with zero down. That's just $379 a month with zero down on a four-wheel drive Explorer. But hurry, Ford's President's Day sales event ends February 18th. See your New England Ford dealer today. Three-point Boston College lead at the 11:24 mark, and right now let's take a moment to thank our corporate partner, Cooper Tire, proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, drive on. Troy Bell, great start, energized to say the least. He came out smoking. Now that's the first play of the game. He he caught it and fired and banked it. He's just ready to play. He's catching, he's shooting, and you can tell when a player has that bounce in his step. He's having good success, and for Providence, their challenge is to try to get up on him and slow him down out of that 2-3 zone. Check the start out. He's already got 13. Got to find him and go from there. Jermaine Watson in the game. Freshman from Dorchester, Mass. Six foot three. Massachusetts Gatorade and USA Today Player of the Year. Yeah, he's got to get rid of it, though. Too much dribbling yep. around Linehan. That's the five-second call. Best advice around Linehan is get rid of it. Yeah. Pass it, cut, but don't dribble too much because the man is always right there another way he can turn you over Providence had five and six in the conference one and four on the road in Big East Conference play Sheku Cobb is in the game number 13 Blackson a little wide left Linehan and John Clackerty explains some that the ball is on the line There's Troy Bell. Quick rest. Now Skinner would like to get a little bit more out of his backcourt in terms of, of his bench players. Granted, he's got Sidney and Bell. Terrific combination, but he's not getting as much from, from Watson that he that he would like. But like get a little bit more. A little more productivity. I think Watson will be a good one. It's just a matter of experience for him. Oh, nice dish. With the left hand. Good finish by Ryan Sidney. Sydney on the evening, he's got four points, two or three shooting. Lenahan got a lane, kick it outside. Jaku Kaba drills a three. It's his 21st of the season, 33 for center. Tight game, 21-19. Again, the penetration by Lenahan, beautifully done. And we see a lot of assists today where guys penetrate into the lane and kick out to the three-point shooter. Well done. Boston College, two and three at home, and Sydney with yet another basket. And these are really big man moves when he does that. That's not a jump shot. That's a that's a leaner and a floater that he releases up there. Tough shot. Out the down low, wheels and got it. That was well done. Good post play by Marcus Dalton. I was talking to Tim Wells before the game, and he said. Yeah, Delphid, he's going to be getting minutes. He's practiced well lately. He's got the long arm. Off to a good start in this game. Sydney down low. Good catch by Ross. Sent back by Delphid. He's in the game. That's a great rejection. Lenahan. See if they can get something on this possession. Good job by Tyler. Huh? Take the lead. Yeah, they've done a good job. And BC comes out full barrels loaded, and Providence has stayed right in there. Nicely done on the road. Blackson, they force him out. Here's Delphid. Can't get it, so his 50th block of the season doesn't yield any points here. But at the nine-minute mark, Providence in good shape. They were down by as many as seven. Yuka Agbai, real quick release, won't go. Rebound, Kenny Wall. Inside, fade, a little too short. Douthat with a rebound, lost it. Agbai tried to save it and threw it out of bounds. Good action at both sure ends. <laughs> you like some up and down, push the ball, intensity. You're getting it here tonight at Conti Forum, and this has always been a terrific matchup. Boston College and Providence. with some New England pride on the line here tonight. Tim Welsh hoping his Friars can do what they did at home against the Eagles, and of course, Al Skinner knows this is a game the Eagles have got to get if they want to go to the NCAA and get on a roll. Five and five in conference play. Douthat back rim that one. Sanders with the rebound. Get a new clock. 
John Linehan blows by Bryant, sets up Sanders. Tough shot on wow. the run. Good looking shot by Rob Sanders, freshman forward from New London, Connecticut. Side at 23. Sanders 6'6. Six, six. Very athletic, and that was an athletic move. Right now, we've got ourselves a battle up and Whoa. down. And he walls. John, that San Francisco form. Wide open in the corner, Shea Kukaba. Going for second three, won't go. Kay Walls with the rebound. Still think this pace favors Boston College with Bell in Sydney and Walls, for that matter. They can put points up when they go up and down. Glad you could join us for Big East Basketball. We're at County Forum in Chestnut Hill, Mass. Campus of Boston College. I'm Dave Sims with Ron Perry. 26-23. Boston College in the lead. And they get the foul on Sheku Kaba. You know, despite this pace and intensity, we haven't had many fouls in this first half. Moving along, 7.39 to go. We'll take a TV timeout right now. Get right back to you with BC leading by three. Hungry? You've come to the right place. The home of great brands and great taste. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Still hungry? Conagra has the foods America craves at mealtime, snack time, or any time. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Pizza, the staple of the American mail, oftentimes served dangerously hot. Thanks. Okay. To cool it, they use an age-old technique oh. known as the reverse blow. The Rolling Rock continues the cooling process. It's good. Rolling Rock beer, grab a rock. Stay in the know on the snow all winter long with Nesson Sports Desk. Tune in every Thursday morning for the latest New England ski conditions. For up-to-date information, ski tips, and more, log on to Nesson.com and click on the Nesson Sports Desk Ski Club, sponsored by Smuggler's Notch and Sunday River. You could win a New England ski vacation, free lift tickets, and more. If you want to know where there's snow, stay tuned to Nesson and log on to Nesson.com. Well, Providence found itself in an early hole, but they've done a real good job getting back into this one. 7.39 to go. Three-point advantage for the Boston College Eagles. Now, John Lenahan's helped. He's played the D, and he penetrates. A beautiful dish right there to cover for the nice three-point shot, and, and then a nice dish inside here, and Marcus Douthit has done a nice job off the bench. The 6'10 sophomore off to a very good start. So now you've got your inside-out play. You've got BC extending. And then Rob Sanders off the bench. So some good young players contributing for Providence. And they've been able to hang tough with BC, with BC starting out very quickly. Shooting it real well after a very, very tough start. Difference maker indeed. Walls, Bell, Sydney, Brian, and Agby for Boston College. Kabu, Abdul Mills, Gomes, Douthat, and Sanders for Providence at three. No good. They battle for it, and Gomes comes away with the board. Cobble right in front of Al Skinner. They go down low to Dalton. No cutters available. Finds Cobble. No, and Dalton with the rebound. Oh, Dalton doing a nice job. A couple of fakes by Mills, and then he cashes it in. Abdul Mills having a good start, too. He's three out of four, eight points. No question about it, and Dalton. You can see the confidence level rise with a young player, Dave, when a few things start to go well. He's got ability. Hang by. Boy, he beat Gomes, and then Gomes had to hack him. Put him on the line. Now, both of these teams can extend defensively, and when that happens, you tend to have some good openings inside. And I've always felt for BC, ag by another guy. We talk about walls. They need inside production, and ag by the guy who's capable of giving them as you can see his numbers, the double figures, and he can really put even bigger points up sometimes. They need him on the floor, out of foul trouble. You could have a tough night against, or tough afternoon against Miami. 
the last game shot two for nine but he did go nine for 11 at the free throw line for 13 points to go with 11 boards and that was game high he's really put some uh, some bulk on he's strong inside and he's added a lot to his low blocks moves, too. John Linehan returns to Shaking Cobb. Tim Walsh saying John Linehan plays so hard every day in practice, ultra competitive, and he lifts the team's competitive level, not just in the game, but also in practice. He said he's truly going to miss him all the way around when he graduates from Providence. They got Ryan Sidney. They're going to count that free throw. And a foul on Ryan Sidney. Well, the line of the day about John Linehan came from Ed Cooley at the shoot-around. I'm going to go to his graduation and make sure his butt is out of here. <laughs> it does seem like John's been <laughs> around a while, and the opposing coaches want to make sure they don't see him around again. He's, hey, I'll tell you what, classy, plays hard, and uh, all-out intensity for four years for the Friars. Got that. Eddie, Eddie was cracking me up. I'm going to his graduation to make sure he's done. I think he might have to camcord a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sanders up top. Under six and a half to go here in the first half. Three-point Boston College lead. Pesky, pesky Providence ball club. Yeah, they are. They come at you. BC matchup zone right now. Nice strip. Sure was. Feeding frenzy. Bell ahead of the pack. Gets the chance. <laughs> you know, in the old days, the guards used to just go in and lay those in off the glass. Forget about it now. Two-hand stuff. <laughs> Good chance to really crush one. They go for it. Linehan gets a high pick. Bell with uh, another outstanding game. He's got 15 points. He's the leading scorer in the conference. Mills gets down low. Won't go. Tipped out. The doubt that has been a difference maker for the prime. Boy, has he. He is a major left. 6'10". He knocks Agby down. He got too aggressive on that one at the defensive end. Look at Agby saying, is this basketball or football? I know we're going to have some contact. I'm used to that. But the shoulder? <laughs> Contact, collisions, another thing. First foul on Douthat. Anron and Laxa return to the Providence lineup. A trap in the corner. They go down to Bryant. Bryant back to Sydney. Up top, Bell. Deep three. Won't go. Bryant kept it alive. Right back to Bell. Nicely done. When you can't grab it, see if you can tap it out to a teammate. And that was well done. Good movement. Walls tees it up. Won't go. Tip Agba. Who's that? Bryant. Or is it Agba? It was Agba. Yuka Agba with the tip. High point lead. Laxa. Oh, nice job on the give and go. Laxa really making an effort to drive towards the best. Look, both teams have just gone at each other in this first half. It's been exciting play. Beautiful passing at times. Gomes has got four points. And Gomes and Agby take your pick down that down low. Waging a battle to get position. Ryan second. 16 fouls for the Friars. Five for Boston College. Good job by Laxer on that last one. We've seen some nice passing in the inside in this game. And he's again trying to make something happen, go into the basket. Then you read the defense. Great dish. Cross court, Walls inside, couldn't finish it. Rebound, Laxa. Nice challenge defensively by Providence. Good run out, dunk by Gomes, set up by John Linehan. One point game. Great push, Linehan always with the head up, run the floor, and you're gonna get that ball. Providence hanging right in there. Two, three zone by the Friars. Good quick ball movement, but there's Linehan coming from behind. He's got another steal. I mean, he's dangerous enough in a man situation. He's murder in his own. Mill sets up. Anrin won't go. Rebound. They keep it alive. Here's Bell quickly to Sydney. Boy, is he fast. And Linehan came back to disrupt the play. <laughs> Even though he picked up the foul, that's a big plus mark for John Linehan, who probably ran two-thirds of the court to get back into that defensive play. Yeah, he's just so quick. You can see Sydney there trying to make that shift move on him as Linehan flies by. That time, he caught leather as well. He's got the arm up. He says, yeah, I got some forearm as well. That's the seventh team foul on Providence. It'll put Boston College in a one-on-one. 
Tim Welsh leaning over, talking it over. Linehan's got to be in great shape to go up and down the floor the way he does. He's one of the better conditioned athletes you'll ever see. Sydney, not a great free throw shooter at 52-4. Nails the first, but while Ryan's not good at the free throw line, he's 11th in assist turnover ratio, 17th in scoring, 7th in field goal shooting, 9th in boards, and 13th in assist. That'll work. He's yeah. a sophomore. He's well balanced. He's all over the place. Real spark plug for the Eagles. Bell and Sydney have already combined for 22, and we've said BC 9 and 0 when they score over 40. Oh, oh, beautiful drive. drive. Good boy, a little big man again. Right down the lane. Tied at 33. Take it to the rack. John Linehan, take it right in there with the big boys. Sydney up top. Turn it over. Ahead of the pack mill. One man to beat. He got a piece of it. He'll shoot a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Out, boy. A lot of credit there to oh, Abdul yeah. Mills. I mean, you got a couple of backcourt people just rising on this one. They're gonna count the bucket. Absolutely. Mills is 6'3, Sydney 6'2. The challenge was on, and Sydney caught some arm. Linehan, he's reacting to the basket. And Linehan and, and um, Mills. Great combination Absolutely. tonight against Bell and Sydney. You've seen some great action. Providence taking the lead here. Oh. Rebound Gomes. Lost it. And they're going to say it went off of Gomes. <laughs> Got a timeout on the floor with the Providence Friars. They've come all the way back. They trailed early by as many as seven. But right now, they have a two-point lead. It's just the same old thing. I need adventure. Excitement. I'm suffocating. Okay. You can drive. Spice things up. The Hyundai Santa Fe. V6 power, full-time four-wheel drive, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan, the Santa Fe. Don't even think about it. afternoons at 2 for two hours of high-octane action for the whole family. It's Nesson's Motor Block, and it'll fuel your fire for fun. From New England Racing and Junior Motorsports to big wheels and monster trucks, it's your ticket to take it to the limit. Motor Block Fridays. They're a gas. Nesson University is now in session. Watch teams from the Big East, Big Ten, and Atlantic Ten take each other to school. Miami looks to make the grade at Rutgers Sunday at noon. Rush, thrill seekers in New England. Sunday night at 9, brought to you by Bob Stores. More Big East action heating up Saturday as Gary Buchanan and Villanova play host to Georgetown. While others check out Troy Bell and BC taking on Connecticut. That's Georgetown versus Villanova or Boston College versus Connecticut. Both matchups at noon Eastern Saturday from ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to County Forum. Providence taking its first lead this evening, 35 to 33, with 3.17 to go here in the first half as we check out our Hyundai game summary. Both teams shooting it very well, 50% to 46%, rebounding edge, which you talked about right at the beginning. That's a push right now, and uh, the edge in turnovers and protecting the ball goes to Providence. Bell with a fabulous first half, 15 points. Stellar shooting at six for eight. Those numbers would indicate we're pretty close, and the Friars with a slight edge, and give them a lot of credit because VC came out very quickly, very aggressively, but we've been back and forth trading baskets in this first half. Ryan Ross, nice recovery there by Bell, not where he wanted it. Quick inside pass. Agby with the left hand, won't go. Ross keeps it, kept it alive. And Laxa comes away with it for Providence. Lenahan. Taking it right into the defense, leaves it for Sanders, partially blocked. They keep it alive. Doubt that kept it alive to Mills. They get a new clock. Abdul strokes for three. Got it. Three ball for Abdul Mills. And it's 38-33, a five-point lead now for Providence. Their biggest lead. 
Mills with 13 points on 5 of 7 shooting. Beautiful job by Providence keeping it alive. There's that defensive pressure again out of the 2-3. BC's got to remain aggressive and do what they've done successfully in the first half, which is to penetrate. And a foul on Linehan. You see Providence living large with the second chance points, 11 to 2. That foul for Linehan, that'll be his second. Sean Linehan's seen a lot of John Clockerty over the years. A nice exchange. There's mutual respect when you've been around, and oh, yeah. both people know that the other one's doing their job. John Clockerty, a veteran official, one of the best. See him quite often during the course of the year. Walls with the free throw. Kenny's a 73 percenter at the line. He's 19th in scoring in the Big East Conference, 11th in free throw percentage, and 12th in made threes. Part of that big three for Boston College, Bell, Sydney, and Walls. Again, Actually, he, big four because Agby's yep. a double figure score, too. So you get four of the five starters averaging double figures. Yeah, that's good balance. And again, Walls, the guy that can get shots because Bell and Sydney can attract a lot of attention. 11 3 run for Providence. Bell, Two Pro minutes to go. Providence has shot it well in this first half. BC's got to step up their D. Oh, another one. Hey, stopping on a dime is John Linehan. Oh, a shot back against the grain. That's nicely done. Five-point lead. Bell over the top. He hits. <laughs> well, that's not an easy one. That's a three for Bell. He's having a dynamite first half. And that one was contested. Sure was. Seven of nine, three of four from three-point range for Bell with 18 points. Called stepping up your game when your team needs you. Blocked by Ross. Walls. Going to take it coast to coast. Left it for Sydney. Offensive foul. Good job by Providence to stand in there. Who was that? Mills? It was. Abdul Mills stood in and took the charge. Walls doesn't make a good decision there, though. He's... He's got people up in front of him, and he dribbles right into the defense. Sydney slows down the D. Looks like Bell's open to me with a bounce pass, and Walls creates the contact. Got to make good decisions when you're out there on the break. Cardinal rule, foul line, stop, and see what you got. Yeah, don't take it in there. You know, it was a, it was a good break opportunity. It was a two-on-one. Two-point advantage right now for Providence. Looking for more. Doubt that has played very well coming off the bench here. Lenahan over the top. That's a little short. Goes up over the top, and it'll be Boston College ball. Stay with us at halftime. Got our ESPN Plus halftime report. Check out the players of the week. And you're going to like that. Scores and standings, and we'll take a look at first half highlights and stats. All kinds of things happening, uh, about to happen in the Big East Conference. Don't forget the tournament coming up. All these teams vying for that first round by as Agby took it back up strong. Doubt that picked up the foul. That'll be his second. Yeah, we're getting to that point now, Dave, with you know wins and losses as you get deep into uh, the well, you're in the middle part of February, deep into it, deep into league play with the tournament. A big, big factor right around the corner. Of course, Tim Welsh hoping his Friars with 14 victories can get on a roll and, and Al Skinner pushing for the same thing for his Eagles. Luka Agby at 70% from the free throw line. Lenahan's back in. Kareem Halitz will leave. And Andron's coming in for Providence. Kenny Wallace leaves. And Mr. Bryant, check that Jermaine Watson is back in. Very interesting year as John Lenahan back in in the Big East with everybody seemed to be beating each other up. Everyone's got at least a few losses right now. Well, you know, it's interesting. Al Skinner said that, you know, the rest of the country, a lot of people around the country think because everybody's beating each other up that the league's not that good. They said, <laughs> I think you may want to rethink that come March because I think some of the four, five, or six teams that get in from the conference can do some damage. I agree. Aaron had to go in and out. And now a foul, more than likely on Laxa. That's who it was. Maris picks up the foul. That'll be his first. Donnie Gray is trying to get, yeah, he's doing, he's having Laxa go get the ball, chucked it into the corner. A little delay of game, wants him to get it, went and got it. Troll out in that floor. Now 
Al Skinner, coach of the year. He's the Atlantic 10 coach of the year back in 91-92 at Rhode Island. Member of their University of Rhode Island Hall of Fame. Good defensive player in his days in the pros with uh, the New Jersey Mets, Sixers, and Pistons. A terrific player. He's been a very successful coach. Rhode Island here at Boston College. Got a great demeanor always in the game. And Sydney's going to shoot two. That was the 10th team foul. Double bonus in effect. Eagles right now, they have 17,000. Sydney can't roll that in. One of the big differences this year in Boston College, Ron, is the fact that they're not playing as well at home. Two and three at home this year. Last year, they went unbeaten at home in conference play. Matter of fact, it's 17 and 0. At, at home last season. Yeah, you're going to try to hold serve, and for some reason they haven't been able to hold leads, well, most notably against St. John's here. Up 16-2. Looked like a game. I mean, they had put their stamp on this game. They wound up losing. Lenahan, final 14 seconds. Mills, runner in the lane. Got the bounce. Oh, Abdul Mills, what a great first half for him. 15 points. Steal, three. Could be big. He shot an air ball. 2.2 to go. But the Friars hold a one-point lead. That could have been a real big one right there. Now Skinner calls a timeout. Talk things over here with 2.2 seconds to go. A big basket by Mills. He, I think he had, he thought he had a little bit less time than he did when yeah. he launched that so quickly. But what a heads up play. Strip Bell with the ball. Now, now if you're BC with 2.2, there's enough time to make a quick pass to the midcourt area and see if you can get that last second shot off. And it's a big one because the Eagles trail by a point. Two point two seconds to go here. Talking about the ups and downs. BC there has been many, I'll tell you. Losses, we talked about that St. John's game. They had a chance to put Providence away on the road. They got beat by a late game shot against Virginia Tech. They did beat Miami, though, twice. Here's Sidney. They let it go. Got the rim. Yeah, that was a good look right Two there. Months. Got a shot off. Well, what a half for the Providence Friars. Abdul Mills, six for nine shooting, two for three from long range. He's got 15 for the Friars. Bell with 18, game high for Boston College. Friars trailed by seven, but they fought the good fight and lead at halftime by one. Our halftime festivities coming up right after this. At Advance, we believe in doing it yourself. We made this commercial ourselves. Hey, Charles, what are you doing? Just getting ready to install a new battery out there for a customer. I see. <laughs> it's a pretty cool outfit. Wow, well, where'd you get those awesome goggles, battery guy? Funny. <laughs> battery guy walks the earth in search of a battery. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, battery guy. Bow before him. The bow. Resistance becomes strength. Becomes power. The power to change and reshape your entire body. This is Bowflex, an entire gem in one easy to use machine. So powerful, it delivers over 60 health club quality exercises with up to 410 pounds of resistance in any room in your home. Strength training with Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. One simple workout. 20 minutes a day, three days a week. Bowflex is real. The results are real. And you can own one with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Call right now for a free video and brochure. Bowflex, the power is yours. Welcome back, everybody, to the ESPN Plus Halftime Report. We're at County Forum this evening. Halftime between the Providence Friars and the Boston College Eagles. Right now, let's take a chance to check out the Big East Wire. Several players had outstanding performances in that four-overtime thriller between Notre Dame and Georgetown this past Saturday. But perhaps none more outstanding than Georgetown's Mike Sweetney. 
in what was ultimately a losing effort by the Hoyas. Sweetney had one of the most productive days in Big East history. He scored 35 points, pulled down 20 boards, and it earned him Player of the Week honors for the second straight week. Sharing Player of the Week honors was Matt Carroll of Notre Dame. Carroll scored a career-high 30 points in the game on 5 of 9 shooting from behind the arc, not to mention scoring the last 7 points of the contest to secure the victory for the Irish. For the week, Carroll averaged 22 points, 5.6 rebounds. He was 15 of 28 from the floor. Taking home Big East Rookie of the Week honors for his performance this week is Notre Dame freshman point guard Chris Thomas. Combine his all-around 60-minute performance versus Georgetown with what he did earlier in the week versus Rutgers. Thomas finished the week averaging 27 points and 11 and a half assists to go along with five rebounds. Hey, folks, a Big East doubleheader comes your way this Saturday as Kevin Braswell leads the Georgetown Hoyas into Philadelphia to battle sharp shooting Gary Buchanan and the Villanova Wildcats. Also on Saturday, the jockeying for postseason play continues as Troy Bell and Boston College pay a visit to Karan Butler and the Yukon Huskies. It all starts Saturday at noon when Georgetown battles Villanova or some of you will see Boston College square off against Connecticut only from ESPN+. A PC education is this ongoing conversation about the great ideas that have come down to us and that are being projected into the future. It's not about just earning a living. Every professor is, in fact, a mentor, a professor, counselor. That is a tremendous advantage. Providence College, preparation for a lifetime of learning. Are you tired of crawling around on your knees or doing endless sit-ups and still not getting the results you want? Now you can get up to 700 muscle contractions in just 10 minutes without breaking a sweat and get the tone and definition you've always wanted. Introducing the revolutionary Ab Energizer system featuring 21st century technology that's a simple, easy way to help give you firm, toned abs. And guess what? You're not even going to break a sweat. The secret is Ab Energizer's electronic impulses that stimulate the abs so they contract and relax as if you're doing a sit-up. Now you can work out your abs anywhere, watching TV, at the office, even around the house. And it's also great for your lower back, bun, and thighs. I've been using Ab Energizer for two weeks and I definitely feel stronger abs. Instantly you feel like you just have done 100 sit-ups. By using the Ab Energizer, it's actually provided me with incredible results. I've lost 40 pounds. I've gone from a waist 37 to a waist 34. Some ab stimulators have all kinds of wires and cost over $600. Single unit products can cost $120 or more. They wear out quickly and only make contact at one point. With a double unit ab energizer, you get two modes and 10 settings to maximize your workout. Well, the ab energizer at about half the price gives you not one, but up to four different contacts, making it more effective by targeting multiple muscle groups for faster results. Call now to order the complete Ab Energizer system for just $59.95. It includes the Ab Energizer belt with two units, tightening gel, meal plan, an instruction guide, and carrying case. But that's not all. You'll also get a free 30-day supply of Diet Energizer with its fat-burning formula. The Ab Energizer system is guaranteed. If you don't lose at least two inches off your waist in the first 30 days, return it for a full refund of the purchase price, no questions asked. To order your Ab Energizer, call now. Newport Grand, do you like to win? Newport Grand Highlay has the highest payout slot machines in New England. Do you like to play? To better serve you, we have added more video slot machines and a new non-smoking area. Then let the games begin. Free parking and free admission are just a few of the reasons why it pays to play at Newport Grand High Life. Where it pays to play. Show me cards. Yes, ladies and gentlemen.
Providence Friars rallied to take a halftime lead here, 42-41 at County Forum. Second meeting here of the regular season between these two clubs. Pretty good ball game we have going for us, everybody. Dave Sims and Ron Perry with you. Let's take a look at the conference, take a little bit of an overview as we steam towards the Big East Tournament. And your thoughts, uh, Ron, on, on some of the things that have been going on in this conference with all the sweeps. There's been a bunch uh, so far this season. Well, it's been just so competitive. We've got a great game going here tonight, which is indicative of what we've seen all year long. Providence trying to sweep BC. We've seen a lot of great conference matchups. Thing that strikes me, everyone's got at least three losses. The conference yeah. ultra competitive. Are you going to get five or maybe sneak even six teams into the NCAA tournament? It's going to be a very interesting come selection Sunday. Let me tell you, other action in the conference this evening. Virginia Tech could be headed towards their second win of the season. They knocked off Boston College and Miami playing at home. Leading St. John's early on, Miami starting uh, tonight, a game behind Connecticut in the Big East East Division. Let's take a look at the Big East Conference standings, brought to you by ConAgra Foods, the title sponsor for the ConAgra Foods Big East Men's Basketball Championship, March 6 through 9 at Madison Square Garden in New York. Talked about Miami, a game back. St. John's, that's why this game, their game tonight is so important, and ditto our game, Boston College and Providence. Exactly, you can see the push, Connecticut right up there, with that 8-3, 16-6, Miami looks like in good shape with the 20 and the 7-4. You got to make the push now. St. John's, B.C., kind of right in the thick of things. Providence, not far behind. Over in the West Division, Pittsburgh Panthers. Boy, have they shown people something this year or what? 9-3 and three record. Unbelievable. Ben Holland's done a great job, the surprise team of the conference. And Mike Bray doing a great job for the Irish of Notre Dame. Look at them coming on strong. That big quadruple overtime game. And then Syracuse right there once again with Jimmy Beheim. Notre Dame, the hottest team in the conference right now with five straight wins. And they play at Rutgers tomorrow night. Rutgers, a very solid team at home. Rutgers on the season is 4-1 and one at the rack. We'll take a break. And when we come back to County Forum, we'll take a look at first half highlights and stats. And what has been a very entertaining game, Providence leading by one. What can you learn at Boston College? That academic excellence is worth the challenge. To make wise choices. To seek the truth. To give back to our community. To make the most of every opportunity. To act responsibly. To be a leader. To be open to new ideas. A Jesuit education can transform your view of the world. Boston College, ever to excel. If you suffer from any of these health problems, a relaxing, affordable Craftmatic adjustable bed with built-in massage and soothing heat may provide the temporary relief from pain you've been looking for. Call toll-free now so we can mail you our free information pack. Inside are facts about the Craftmatic Model 2 that costs hundreds less than many quality flatbeds. And the Craftmatic Model 3 that is 50% less than the Model 2's low cost. 50% less. Call now and we'll also mail you this special free $200 off rebate certificate. It's good for $200 off the Craftmatic Model 1 bed of your choice. Don't suffer needlessly. Get the facts about the affordable adjustable beds that may provide temporary relief. Call for this helpful free money-saving information right away. There's absolutely no obligation. Call 1-800-247-5558 toll-free. That's 1-800-247-5558. Call toll-free 1-800-247-5558. Show. Introducing the original, the best of the Muppet Show, now on VHS and DVD. Call this toll-free number now and get your first Muppets volume on VHS or DVD for just $19.99. Doesn't look like a princess to me. Watch it, hardware. But that's not all. Call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card and we'll cut the price in half. You'll get your first Muppets volume on VHS or DVD for only $9.99. Trust me. Then preview other great Muppet volumes. Keep only those you want. Cancel anytime. The best of the Muppet Show is not available in stores, so call now. Call 1-800-635-4949 to order your first volume of the best of the Muppet Show on VHS. VHS or DVD for only $9.99 when you use your credit card. Or send $9.99 plus $4.99 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. It's by one here at halftime, 42-41. We're moments away from starting 
the second half. And here's a look at first half highlights. Ron Ferry. Now we had some great action. We had 83 points scored in the first half. Boston College came off blazing. Ryan Sidney getting it done in the lane. He was very active. Mills there stripped. He had an excellent first half for Providence, but that one was a Sydney to Bell stuff as they got it done. And Bell was the man for Boston College. He was very focused in the first half with 18 first half points. Well, he established tempo early on. Doubt that came off the bench for uh, Providence and did a lot of good things for the Friars. Doubt that went three for six six points and had three rebounds in 13 minutes outstanding job and abdul mills really led the way in the backcourt with 15 for providence take a break and come back and get things going here in the second half providence trying to knock off bc for the second time this season Every car has its moment. This one has thousands per second. The new BMW 3 Series. Test drive the ultimate driving machine at your local BMW center. To play the game and try to win, not to cheat, and to play by the rules. Because it's not good to cheat, to be nice, not laugh at other people. To play fair and to not try and hurt people. Don't, like, kick the um, umpire and, like, push them. And they're supposed to be a good sport. Play good game when you put your hands out. Regrow dense natural hair safely and effectively. Free with Hair ZX. Like popular Fologard and Avacor, Hair ZX blends three proven formulations to produce larger, healthier hair follicles. This enables you to actually regrow your lost hair free. Millions of people have used Fologard and Avacor because they work, gladly paying up to $110 for a month's treatment. Now you can get all the same active ingredients of Fologard and Avacor and all the same benefits free. The proven clinically tested formulas of Hair ZX bring new nourishment to your hair and scalp restoring your hair's strength and growing power. Hair ZX includes three powerful hair growing formulas, a volumizing shampoo that removes dirt and unclogs hair roots or follicles, a special minoxidil-based solution that increases the blood supply to your undernourished follicles, and herbal DHT blocker that reduces DHT so you can resume your natural hair growing process. Why settle for an unnatural looking hairpiece or the stress and hassle of a drastic hair implant? get proven hair growing results from hair zx free this special free offer won't last long so you must act immediately call or log on to vitafree.com right now hair zx is giving away a full four month supply of its proven hair regrowth product that's a free bottle of specially formulated volumizing shampoo free minoxidil based hair growing solution and free dht blocker capsules every month for four full months that's an amazing 440 dollars value free just for calling right now. Why wait a moment longer to restore your looks and confidence with thick, dense hair? Call the toll-free number on the screen right now and receive your full four-month supply of Hair ZX free. This is a limited-time offer, so you must act fast. Call the toll-free number or log on to VitaFree.com now. Don't lose another moment or another handful of hair. Regrow your lost hair with Hair ZX. <laughs> About to start the second half, everybody. Providence leading by one, 42-41. And at the beginning of our telecast, we told you about the combo of Bell and Sydney. When they go, they combine for 40 or more points. The Eagles are 9-0, and, oh, and that's the productivity for the first half, Ryan. Well, it's a great job with 26 already, but... Oh, look at that quick steal again by Linehan. And he gets the bucket, too. He's remarkable. Third steal tonight. Unreal. But again, Walls with that lazy pass, Dave, going away from BC's basket with Linehan in the neighborhood ill-advised Providence is 12 and 3 when leading it at the half Boston College 1 and 5 when trailing and they turn it over Linehan alley-oop nicely done count the bucket 
Providence starting with a rush. They're starting with the same type of energy that BC started with at the beginning of the contest. It's so important to start the second half. You can really pick momentum up. Linehan with the steal to finish. Now the dish from the foul, and he got it right where you should. Drew the defense. And Sanders, the athletic freshman, 6'6", with a beautiful finish. Sanders going for a seventh point. And this would establish the biggest lead of the evening for Providence, should he make it. Six points. Very impressive here in the first 29 seconds of the second half. And when you're on the road, it really stuns the home crowd. Providence with the lead in terms of points off turnovers here tonight. Sydney, they got hacked <laughs> by Sanders. Right, <laughs> turned around, gave him a look. A little look, a little checkpoint. Providence one and four on the road. That only win was uh, down at Madison Square Garden against St. John's. Boston College two and three here at home. Sydney not having a good night at the line. Two out of six. And on the season, Ryan, for a guy who puts in almost 33 minutes, only shooting 52 percent change, and he missed them both. He's got good form, good rotation. It's got to be a matter of concentration and confidence from the strike. Laxon put the ball on the floor a lot in the first half. Here's Gomes. Oh, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. Going to his left, put it up with both hands at the 49-41 lead. Great job out of the locker room by the Friars. They're right in this game. Now they've got the lead. And for BC, they've got to keep their poise in battle right back. Belder, game high 18. Rebound, Linehan taken away. Bell, can he convert? No, missed the iron. Rebound, Walls, and he put it up with his right hand. That's a big basket by Walls. BC really needed that one to start this second half and slow down the Friars. Friars come out energized starting the second half. Get a little bit of a feeling here tonight. The Friars playing a little bit like they have nothing to lose, and BC feeling a little bit of that backs up against the wall feeling, but they do need that intensity they had in the first half. Providence is going to end up with the ball after that air ball. It was run down by Gomes and knocked out of bounds by one of the BC players. Got that casual when you shoot that occasional air ball. Mm -hmm. like I, I thought someone was cutting under for the pass. Yeah. <laughs> Get all the way out, and Ryan Sidney all over that one. He goes for the two-hand flush. Boy, if it's in his neighborhood, consider it stolen. Well, you know what's impressive is the quickness that these kids have. I mean, Linehan with the steal on the lazy pass. That one looked like it was in good shape. Sidney just ran it right down, and forget about it when he sent it down with the stuff. Sanders up top. Gets it to Gomes. Lenahan will fire over the top, and he hit that one. Oh, how about John Lenahan? 33% on the night, on the season, rather, and he opens up a lead of 52-45. Seeing some tough shots, a good offensive night. The defense really isn't that bad, but both teams really shooting it. Tim Welch wanted to travel here. Look at John Lenahan. It looked like Sidney might have dragged the pivot. It was close. Trying to get something for Bell. They give it to him with 10 seconds. Walls, baseline, shot an air ball. And it's going to be Providence ball. They're going to say Dornkamp knocked it out of bounds. Good start here. Second half for Providence, 52-45. They've done it without a couple of guys who have not factored in offensively. Laxa. And uh, Anron went 0 for 7 from the field in the first half. They get Dornicamp for the foul. And for Nate, that's going to be his third. You've got to be impressed with Providence. They withstood a very heavy rush by BC early, kept their poise on the road, and have come out very quickly here in the second half. And they're, they're making their shots tonight. Mills to get an inbounds. Got it to Gomes down low. Blocked. Mills retrieves. Problem is getting the loose balls right now. They're quicker to the basketball. Sanders for three. Too strong. To keep it alive. Dornicamp comes down with it. Nice job by the freshman. In the corner, here's Bell. Baseline jumper. He hits. That's a three. 
Troy Bell with 21 now. He's four out of five from beyond the arc. Tempted to start to write that one down. When he got it, I could tell it was good. Yeah, get good rhythm. Combs, no. The rebound by Donacamp. Back comes BC. Bell ahead of the pack. Sidney steps inside and it's gonna get the foul call before the shot. Boy, his quickness is so impressive. His first personal foul, two team fouls. I think Mills caught him on the arm. Nice look by Sidney. He does a good job to find Bell, and that's what Bell needs. You've got to get the ball to him when he is open. He's a guard that handles it a lot, so a lot of times he's got to create it. Sidney doing a nice job to find him. You can hang by off the inbound, and back and forth we go. So, so much of that big lead, it's down to two. It, you know, it's early, Dave, a lot of times 16 plus, but again, wouldn't be surprised to see another wire job here tonight in Boston. Lenahan finds a crack. Sets up Mills. Three is good for Abdul Mills. What a night he's having. He's got 21. Four out of five from deep. Mills going to make a run at his season high at 27 earlier in this year. Providence stays with that 2-3 matchup. They've done a nice job. It's really not a matchup. They're just quick with it with Linehan up top. Got some air on that one, didn't he? Oh. Now. Big three. 24 points. Wow! And another turnover. Back and forth we go in this one. Troy Bell, 9 of 13, 5 of 6 from deep. He's got 24. And BC's right back, trailing only by two. Certified pre-owned BMW. Getting one couldn't be easier. Take one for a test drive today. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Tire is proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, drive on. President's Day is a time to honor the nation's greatest leaders. Like Ford F-150, America's best-selling truck, 25 years straight. And during Ford's President's Day sales event at your New England Ford dealer, get $2,500 cash back or 0% financing on Ford F-150 for the highest available payload in its class. That's $2,500 cash back or zero financing. But hurry, Ford's President's Day sales event ends February 18th. See your New England Ford dealer today. This is some terrific competition. John Linehan against Troy Bell. Linehan, look at that, getting inside. Nice setup for Mills. That's a beautiful dish. We saw it in the first half, and Linehan gets in there, and Mills is having a great shooting night, only to be matched by Troy Bell, who has been just on fire. 9 for 13 from the floor in this game. At, he's shooting 69%, and the rest of the team, Dave, has been much cooler here tonight. The rest of the team shooting 10 for 27. Bell having an outstanding performance, and we got a long way to go here. You really do. He's on, he, he has that look in his eye tonight with that NCAA focus. He had 42 here earlier this year against Iowa, Iowa State. Yeah. Clock went out. So they'll get a reset. The clock on the uh, above the baskets. It's one of the great changes in the game that. We've seen since our youth, I'll tell you, that, may, that, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? I'm sure it does. Pace of this game. I'll tell you one thing, even with that shot clock, we have not seen that challenge at all today. Right. Guys getting some uh, good shots, and as you mentioned, some tough shots, but getting them uh, good rhythm in the offense. I really felt early, you know, I talked to Tim Walsh, one. he wanted to see more of a... I think a half court tempo, but sometimes the game evolves. His team has really matched VC very well tonight. They've shot it well. You know, and on a 
night when you're shooting it well. The key will be who can get some defensive stops. And will Providence have that drought that they've had in some games this year where they go minutes without it? It certainly hasn't appeared it so far. Out again. Clock went out again. Both so. of them now. Hopefully, be able to get it to stay on. Right now, let's take a look at Shooting the Rock, brought to you by Rolling Rock. Grab a rock. Good shooting by both clubs. 23 of 47, 19 of 40. Wow. And also from three-point land, Dave, both clubs have been very effective making the long ones. Tell you what, both teams average close to 60 shots per game. They're going to beat that easily tonight. Yeah, I mean, check the tempo out. I mean, we're just going up and down. I mean, and, and we're getting, you know, both teams are getting good looks, good shots, and they're just connecting. Been a good rivalry over the years, and you know, Providence coming in with a lot of fight, and, and BC knows they've got to get it, so they, they're really getting after it here tonight. Well, it's mid-February, and beginning of the broadcast, we talked about how critical these games are now. Here's the remaining schedule at Connecticut, St. John's, that's Monday night, Villanova, then Connecticut again, and then finish up at Syracuse. Those are some tough ball games. That's why this game's so critical for BC, and then they just want to take them one at a time. That's the way you got to do it. Rebound goes to Linehan, off the miss by Bell. Four on two, leave it for Mills. Good recovery defensively by Boston College. Doubt it. I thought he was going to launch that one. So did I. They go inside. Gomes able to save. Good job by Doubt, but he got knocked down. Saved it to Agby. To Ryan Sidney. Alley oop and said, Look out. And oh! And uh, Linehan said, Hey, I just happened to be there. So for Linehan, that's his. For John Linehan, his third foul. Surprise Bell doesn't get it here. I thought that he was open, Ryan right? Sidney's got him right there. Then I think he thinks Linehan's gonna go with Bell, but he comes across with the quick anticipation. Check it out. Bell really open, and that's where Linehan not intentionally came up and under Kenny Walls. Linehan wanted a no call for that citing incidental contact. Sydney with a quick burst to the hole. And they get the foul. Surprised on the Walls play that maybe they didn't give him the shot. He looked as he caught it, trying to go up with it, but the ruling was on the floor. Not in the act of shooting, according to the officials. Maybe they didn't feel he had enough control of the basketball. That last foul on Ryan Gomes is third. Boston College for the tie or the lead on this possession. Get it to Bell, wide open. He makes him pay. Wow. He is on tonight. Check it out. Making the threes, making the twos. Our fifth lead change tonight. It's called taking a game to another level when the money's on the line, when you've got to get it done. 27 for Bell. Linehan playing with three fouls. Mills has felled it all night. That one won't go. Rebound, Agbot. Ahead to Ryan Sidney. Bell's open again. He'll fire from in front of the bench. Oh, he's just on fire. Try Bell with 30. <laughs> and we've got 13.50 to go. Got the crowd involved as well. Timeout Providence. A career high. 7 threes for Troy Bell. Timeout Friars. 16-3 run by Boston College. We're back to County Forum in a moment. Hungry? You've come to the right place. The home of great brands and great taste. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Still hungry? Conagra has the foods America craves at mealtime, snack time, or any time. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Want to rearrange the living room, dust behind that chest, move that king-size bed? Better get some moving men. No, not those moving men. 
these moving men. Just slip a moving man under each leg, and even the heaviest piece slides along effortlessly. They're made of a highly polished polymer and fitted with a special grip pad for the legs to rest on. These men can hardly budge this armoire, yet this woman can slide it clear across the room. This couple rearranged their living room in just a few minutes. Sliding furniture without the moving men can bunch up and damage expensive carpeting. Wow, what a difference. Even the bed moves with ease. And no more rewiring when you move your entertainment system. You get two sets of moving men for just $19.99, plus eight mini movers for things you frequently move. Watch, here's one more incredible demo. We placed a moving man under each tire, and this car slides along like magic. Order now and get all 16 pieces for just $19.99. Use your credit card and call 1-800-494-3663 or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Call now. Back and forth we go. Five lead changes in our contest this evening. 59-55. Boston College now in charge. And one thing Providence has got to do, they've got to find number two. Well, I mean, the way things are going, I mean, you've got the 2-3 for Providence. Belt is just sticking it. He's been the man. You may, you may find Tim Welsh with this hot, hot hand for Bell. He's knocking those feet down now like nothing. You may see some man-to-man -man out of this timeout with pressure on Bell. He's just on fire. Fourth 30-point game for Bell this season. Leading scorer in the Big East Conference. As you said, Dave, with a lot of time left in this one. Yeah. He's got a uh, conference best 42 points. That was that performance you alluded to earlier against Iowa State. Let's see what Providence can do to counter. Boston College in that matchup zone. Lacks it. No. Tip. We'll keep it alive. Gomes got it. Check that. That's Sanders with the putback. Very aggressive on that second hop. He's got it to go. Ties the score. And here's other action in the Big East. Wow, Virginia Tech at West Virginia blowing out the Mountaineers. And Miami doing likewise to St. John's. A lot of credit to Ricky Stokes with Virginia Tech. They've played hard, and that's a big win. Maryland, ACC action over Georgia Tech. South Carolina leading number seven Alabama. And Kentucky up on Vanderbilt in the second half. And understand we have more clock problems, and we're going to go to a backup. Guess I'll just use the big scoreboard clock. We're going to turn it off. Timer on the floor. Clock having having some problems tonight. Not the big board, but our shot clock. Yeah. Again, it hasn't been challenged. I'm not so sure we can just go without it. Yeah, I agree with you. That's a good point. <laughs> Remaining games down the stretch here for the Friars. Villanova comes in. They go to Virginia Tech. Miami will come into Providence and then at Notre Dame. Those are the records of those clubs on the right. Some good games. Providence can, they're very capable of beating anyone on, on those uh, games. Boston College, same thing with their remaining games. But the beauty of the league this year, it can go either way with these That's games. That's right. So competitive. And that Big East Conference tournament is going to be wild as they. Uh, Bring down the alternate shot clocks. They're bringing them down. They're going to put them in the corners like they used to have in the old days in the uh, NBA. It's always good to have backups. Got to have a backup plan. You're seeing it in action. Officials have done a good job. Good officiating crew here tonight. Glad they had them on reserve here, which is very smart. And I like this, too. You know, you never saw this in the old days. You know, they keep an exercise bike, keep a guy warm. That's Remember a good Rodman, idea to stay loose. Dennis Rodman used to do that a lot. So, Mills keeping warm and for good reason, too. He's got 18 points on 7 of 12 shooting. And John Linehan, here's what he did against Virginia Tech the last time out. That was Saturday. The guy is just incredible. You show some weakness with the ball, you're in trouble. Oh, he shows you there. Great anticipation and the quick hands. Look at what he has done this evening. He's put up so many uh, numbers. He's got a chance to finish this season. Heck, finish this month. He's the all-time steals leader in college basketball. 11 steals against Rutgers. I saw that game. That was pretty remarkable. Unbelievable. 205. 
conference record, 113 for the season. And of course, the all-time career record, which was held by a former Friar, Eric Murdoch, he will end up with that. So just incredible, one of your best perimeter defenders, really, of all time in college basketball. You're seeing him here tonight. Check it out. Huh? Good. Good creative. Boston College Eagles, the fans getting into it. And they've livened up over the last few minutes as well with Beltman on that real run. 16-3 run for uh, Boston College. And <laughs> Mr. Personality, Ryan Sidney coming over. Message to a friend. Let them know what they're going to do tonight. Hey, only four guys for BC have scored this evening. Wall is about to become the next double-figure scorer. Yeah, I mean, that's incredible. Bell, of course, has just basically said, hey, come on, jump on my back tonight. Yeah. I can feel it. We're going to get there. And, of course, Providence has had a lot of answers. And they're hanging right in there. We're talking about the steals for Linehan. He averages 4.52 per ball game. Sanders trying to make this a one-point game. Doesn't get the roll. Sanders just 56% at the line. And now what happened? Now the other clock went out, or no, it didn't. Donnie Gray looking up, and evidently the, the game clock. Okay, he got an assistance here. He thought it had not moved it when it did. So we're all we're all set. <laughs> Say, Don, we got him. We got him going on the floor now. All right, we got the clock squared away. The action ready to go again. Let's see what let's see what Providence if they stay with that two three zone. Lenahan on Bell. That's yeah. a matchup we wanted to see all night. Yeah, here it is. Bell said he was going to go north south tonight. Going to attack right at John Lenahan. Agby with a quick fumble. Butt out of that timeout. Tim Walsh said, man, with 30, with this much time to go, we're going to have to put Linehan on him. Well, that's a heck of a drive. It won't go. Kept alive, and Sidney ends up with it anyway. Good D by Sanders. Baseline set up for Kenny Wall. Wall's in double figures now with a triple. He's got 12. 62-57 Boston College. Well, another nice inside-out pass. BC connecting right now. Friars could use one here. Sanders block and a foul it's on Sanders to prevent the breakaway I'm lucky the if he didn't get intentional Andrew on that one Bryant is seventh of the season I don't think Sanders was really going for the ball on this one let's check it out they're gonna get Abdul Mills off the bike and back into the game but quick I think that's an intentional foul Dave I don't see any attempt right there by Sanders to go for the ball yeah, it's just yeah just a hack over the shoulder Ryan Gomes going to come back in. Marcus Douthat will leave. Mills is back. So I'm riding the bike. Looks like he's got a little bit of a, a little bit of stiffness in the grind he's trying to work out. What a what a game this has been. <laughs> back and forth. BC got out to the great start. Led by seven early. Halftime, it was Providence. Here's Bryant stepping out. Got a lot of air on that one. Bell runs it down. Tip, tip is good. Bryant got that tip. Ty's biggest, the biggest lead for BC, seven points. Good job by Bell to keep it alive. And there's a fifth player now in the scoring column for the Eagles. Sheku Kaba. And they gave that score to Agby, we're told. Kaba, nice look. Mills got a layup. Terrific movement by Providence, 64-59. Mills with 20. Friars man-to-man. -man. They played zone throughout. We'll see what... Bell can do with Linehan on him. Nice drive. Put it up on a quick delivery. You got a breakout. Mills at Kaba ahead of the pack. Here's Linehan. Trailer Mills. Lay it up and in. Beautiful Dish. done. <laughs> the trailer. Wow. Got to love it when the trailer gets it, Dave. You get some help there. Fill the lane. Keep your head up. And it's a three-point game. 11 and a half to go. Well, Mills has had a nice night in Linehan. Boy, it's been fun watching these backward players Mills go with, at it. Mills with 22 points. Sydney down low in traffic. That won't go. Keeps it alive. And Kaba takes over for Providence. A three with time here for the Friars. Lacks a good pump fake. Mills in the corner. Why not? Won't go. And Ryan Sydney. And it's stolen by Linehan. This guy's unbelievable. Foul on Sydney. 
There it is, illustration time with Linehan. He just anticipates with those quick feet. Where are you going with the ball? It's unbelievable. He can see it and reach it. You're in trouble, 11.09 to go. We could be here for a while. 64, 61, BC. Sometimes the highly developed male will communicate via hand signals. We have the next game of billiards. Spot on. Would you care for another rolling rock? A rock would be splendid. You want to play double? Uh, yeah, sure. Correction, make that four rocks. Well played. I'm excited. Me too. Rolling rock beer, grab a rock. I believe the best theater in town is in my living room. Cable TV with more oomph? You better believe it. AT&T Digital Cable from AT&T Broadband. I believe having more channels means having more of what I want to watch. Loads of great programming for the entire family. I believe every day should be Saturday morning. Plus, there's an interactive program guide. I believe I will be master of my TV. I believe big budget movies should fit into my budget. Log on now to attbroadband.com. I believe I will. AT&T Broadband. Believe in it. Remember when things weren't so complicated? When life's little chores were a welcome part of your busy day? People in business help make life better for you and your community. That was true when we began in 1911. And with us, it's still true today. A bank that treats its customers like a number. Wellesley Cooperative Bank. With us, you're always number one. Saturday night at 8 on Nesson. Welcome back, everybody. We're in Boston. A good look at Boston Common. And nothing common about tonight's game here at Conti Forum. 64-61, the Boston College Eagles in the lead. And I got to tell you, this game is the antidote to the Villanova-Connecticut game on Monday, where it was 8-6 second with seven minutes to go <laughs> in the first half. Look at the numbers here. Bell, seven of nine for three-point range. He's got seven of the nine long balls for BC. That yeah, tuned in late to that game as Connecticut prevailed 46 to 40 over Villanova, the second lowest combined scoring total in league history. 45 to 40. These two teams combined for the lowest score ever. How about that? That's <laughs> not that what we're seeing. That was first half well. action tonight. Yeah. Three-point lead. 11 minutes to go. Chatting with John Clackery during the timeout. He said John Lennon has the best defender on ball defender he's seen in his 25 to 30 years record. He's seen a lot of games. Yeah. Is it Mike Jarvis buys that? John said, boy, Tommy Emmerker was great when he was at Duke, but nothing like Lennon. Down low to Gomes. Take it away, regains, and then Bryant takes over. Great intensity here tonight. The execution's been very good. Teams have shot it well. Providence goes back to the zone. They've been showing some man-to-man. -man. Watch out for Bell with that hot hand. Bell with 30. Walls tears one up wide right. Easy rebound for Bell. Go down low, a little bit too much. And Gomes with just that little subtle shove. And a fourth foul on Gomes. Gomes has not been too large a factor this season. He's got eight points, four rebounds. And he'll get a blow right now with 10-19 to go. We may not see him for a while. They see Douthit again. Douthit was very effective. Marcus Douthit in the first half. Laxa in the middle. See if BC can get some action off the boards right now. Robin's got a box out. Sydney over the top for three. Ryan Sydney now one of three from deep. Six-point lead under 10 to go here for Boston College. But well, we talked about that backcourt 40-point number and Sydney and Bell over the threshold right now, but we still have a tight one here. 30 for Bell. Sydney with 13. They're at 43 and a blocking foul on Kenny Walls. And good call, on because Marcus Douthat's coming back in for Providence. I really liked his energy in the first half. He... The long arms, he's 6'10". I thought he played with a lot of confidence. Right now, Sanders with Douthat, Laxa, Mills, and Linehan for Providence. Bell, Sidney, Bryant, Agby, and Walls for BC. 
very important game tonight. Sanders gets the entry pass down to Douthat. That was challenged by Bryant, and then a foul by Mills. Second foul on Abdul. It's a good idea to get into the game, as Douthat did right there, and get a couple of touches before you try to go up with it. Tim Welsh looking on. He knows he knows his team's battling. BC's playing at you know a very high pace, and Providence has been hanging very tough. It's been interesting. Need the team really able to pull away in this game. BC at five and five coming into tonight's game, trying to get over the 500 mark. Providence at five and six, trying to get to the 500 mark. I think to get to the tournament, Dave, you're really you're really going to need a plus 500 record in Big East play. There it's it a good is. sign for Boston College. They're over the 40 mark. To finish the thought, over 500 in Big East play. I think you got to press the 20-win mark, too, to get to the big dance. Lenahan leads for Mills. That's a good thought. Mills cross-court finds Laxon. That's going off. He's open. Count it. He's got a great touch. Eh? He's trying to write that one in the book as well. Absolutely. He had that much room. Lacks a one of five. That's his first make. He has five points on the night. What? Well, it's uh, about half his normal total. Average is almost 11. They find Bell. Quick step. Walls. This zone moving pretty well. Bell over the top. Won't go. Rebound goes to Sanders. Linehan shifts gears and knocked away by Bell. A breakout. Ryan Sidney gonna reset. Good look underneath. Ten ball for the layup. It's 70 to 64. High energy level. BC really pushing the pace, and that's it's a very quick lineup that Al Skinner has on the floor right now. In Providence, quick as well, but that time Linehan got stripped. Laxon goes by Bryant. Laid it up short. Bryant rebounds. Nice job by Bryant off the bench for the Eagles. There's Linehan, got a deflection, loose ball, and <laughs> Linehan comes away. Leads to Mills, one man to beat, he challenged, block! What a foul, Sidney thought he had a block. Boy, that was close. That's a big foul with this much time to go. That's number four. But Sidney can really get up, that's the... The cross-court pass, it just doesn't get enough height on it. But check it out now, Sidney. That's a good call. I mean, he got a lot of leather, but he came down on him. But, you know, with three fouls with the kind of time left in this game, they need Sidney on the floor. Sure do, Mr. Energy. So a big spot here for Jermaine Watson. BC needs him. Val Skinner was telling me during the shoot-around, hey, don't turn it over, just run our stuff. Anything after that is gravy. So just don't turn it over. 70 to 65, 7.53 to go. This game's got a long way to go. Hungry? You've come to the right place. The home of great brands and great taste. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Still hungry? Conagra has the foods America craves at mealtime, snack time, or any time. Conagra Foods. We set America's table. Help Marlboro Nissan celebrate the holiday with their special President's Day sales event. Offering up to $4,000 off on new Pathfinders and Maximus. Save big while every vehicle in stock is on sale. Special President's Day sale prices are in effect now. So hurry in while supplies last. It's the President's Day sales event at Marlboro Nissan, where every vehicle in stock is on sale now. Visit Marlboro Nissan on Route 20 in Marlboro or call 1-800-689-6560. Stay in the know on the snow all winter long with Nesson Sports Desk. Tune in every Thursday morning for the latest New England ski conditions. For up-to-date information, ski tips, and more, log on to Nesson.com and click on the Nesson Sports Desk Ski Club, sponsored by Smuggler's Notch and Sunday River. You could win a New England ski vacation, free lift tickets, and more. 
If you want to know where there's snow, stay tuned to Nesson and log on to Nesson.com. Seventy to sixty-five, seven fifty-three to go. Dave Sims and Ron Perry with you. What a old-fashioned barn burner here. Forty-two, forty-one at the half. Providence. Abdul Mills, number eleven, has had a fabulous game. Twenty-three points on nine of fifteen shooting. Three of seven from deep. He's got six boards as well. Lenahan, stellar as always. Eleven points, five of nine shooting, seven assists, four rebounds, five steals. Ryan Sidney's on the bench right now, and he's got four fouls, and we may not see him for maybe another three, four minutes. Ryan has played a good game as well. He's five of ten from the field, 14 points. And here's Jermaine Watson. Good pressure out of the timeout by Providence with Sidney on the bench. Linehan got another steal. Loose ball. There it is. Linehan's got it. Going to the glass. Lay it up and count it. Unbelievable. It's the pressure. Nice job by Tim Welsh. Sidney out. Full court pressure. Try to make a basket. And Sidney with the four sitting down. And Linehan the steal and the finish. And the whole play started when they attacked Jermaine Watson. Look at this tenacity, though. And, and it's Linehan again getting the ball. And I mean, Bell very good with the ball, but he just almost can't handle it near him. And the finish, chance for the three-point play as well, is some enthusiasm by Linehan. Egg by the foul, his second foul tonight. And he tied Pepe Sanchez for all-time on the steals list. Boy, that's strong. That is really strong. Tied for second. Pepe Sanchez, Eric Murdoch. That record not far away. Here's Ross. That was partially deflected. Bryant, wow, he may have gotten away with a travel there. Agby now. Hands to Bell. Guess who's in the neighborhood? Linehan. That's right. <laughs> Two-point lead for Boston College. Tries to blow by him. Let him play. Bell. Linehan steals it. Oh, my goodness. The ball. <laughs> that is remarkable. You gotta be so quick when you have it near him. And right now, with with Sydney on the bench, more pressure on Bell to just be quick. He stumbles a little. There it is. And Linehan, he, he hits it on the line. Doesn't think so. And he changed that play. No foul. And Tim Welch saying it should be a shot clock violation. Tim Welch is going nuts on the sideline. There was some kind of clock problem. That's got to be one of the things that Timmy was contending. Boy, hey, screaming, stomping fit over there, and John Clockerty checking things out. Boy, Linehan is Shot. such a game changer. It is just unbelievable. Shot clock on eight. Okay. And Tim Welsh, I think, feeling a BC had possession. Think they ever lost possession as that ball went back and the officials want to get a read here did the clock get reset but it had ticked from the 35 to where it is it's good officiating right here john clockety with donnie gray donnie gray talking it over and joe lindsey it's a good crew they've done a good job here tonight this has been fast action early lead for boston college as we check out our game summary brought to you by hyundai Points in a paint, six-point edge for Providence. Both teams aggressively shooting the three, and Bell's got a game-high 30 points. It's been good shooting. I'm talking really about the change night. of possession here, the one we had down here with Linehan, yes. I guess. And they had another one here. But Tim Welsh would be arguing that BC had it, that his team never got possession, and how could the shot clock not have run out? And I, I think that... At one point, he must have seen it get reset. I didn't notice it. It's down to eight. BC basketball. We'll see if there's an adjustment made. Let's take a look at our BMW Ultimate Drive of the Game. While we wait for administrative work to get fixed. Ultimate Drive of the Game. Take a guess. I think it's going to be John Linehan. <laughs> what a surprise. Now well, it's off the steal, no less. Beautiful finish as he takes it in there and shields off Agby, who he gives up about 
nine inches to with a great finish. Linehan, just constant energy on the floor. The and Troy Bell, two of the better competitors you're going to see in college basketball. And Tim Walsh pleading his case to John Fockerty. See, VC had the ball. We had that deflection by Linehan over on the sideline. Ball then is deflected into the backcourt as Bell recovers itself. Best news we can give Troy Bell that should he stay in here at BC, which we anticipate that he will, that next year when he takes the floor, Chad Linehan ain't gonna be here. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> he must have been happy to see the zone for much of the night because that way he didn't have him completely yeah. on him, but enough minutes of the game, he is there. Surprised they haven't checked the video. And now they are checking the video. All right, so now they're gonna they're gonna re get a replay here and see what we had on the possession. See where the clock was and see if there was a reset. It's critical because yeah, BC either has the ball with was down to eight, and now we've got 17 on the shot clock. And hopefully we have that. All right, we don't have any look at the shot clock, obviously, because the shot clocks on top of the baskets are out of out of order. So that changes that whole thing. So now it's just got to come down to Donnie Gray and John Clockerty. Judgment. Yeah. Which is what we've had for years. We, we do have the right. shot clock now, but in this case, above the basket, well, I guess both not coaches. working. A chance to uh, get some instruction and you see number 34 Leland Anderson making his first appearance sophomore out of Attleboro Mass. The possession's critical in this game so the coaches both want the basketball. John Clockerty got a decision and we're going to play on. Well, they got 17 seconds on the shot clock. Tim Walsh seems to be uh, going to come down, down. They run it down to six. Well, a lot of time had to go off there between sure. the deflections. Here we go. All right, Brian Ross, the inbound. And they get it to Wall. Brian Sidney on the bench with four fouls. Quick shot, no good. And Leland Anderson gets his hands on the ball. Nice rebound. Transfer from Michigan. Down low, spinning, Laxa, held by Ross. Linehan gets it, corner to Anderson. And Laxa held Ross, that was amazing. Laxa up top, oh, in and out. 70 to 68, Boston College. Aggressive action, boy, both teams really want this one. Down the stretch, you get six and a half to go. I think we'll see Sydney, probably uh -oh. another minute. Bryant will fire from there. He loves that shot. Every time I've seen him this year, he's working on it. He can hurt you inside, says Al Skinner, but he loves shooting from the outside. Andrew Bryant, he's 12 out of 35 now from three-point range. 73-68, BC. That's a big basket. Boy. Sanders runner, score it! He was looking for an outlet. He was trying to give it up to Linehan or somebody. He said, hey, I guess I'll have to take it myself and a little runner from the foul line. He's seeing some good young players in the conference. The future is bright in the Big East. Look at Sanders, athletic. The runner, beautifully done in the clutch right there. Nice crossover move. I kind of wonder with Agby, you know, his BC center, he's out on Sanders type. Play a couple of feet off there. Make Sanders take a long shot. The foot speed and the quickness by Sanders proven there to be too much for Agby up that far. Three-point play by Rob Sanders. 73-71. Neither team asking for and giving no quarter. Let me tell you. Agby, here's Bell. They come to double-team him. They harass him at midcourt. Foul! They call it on Sanders. Oh, an extreme pressure and quickness by Providence. Full court style. It's really a three-guard lineup out there now with Linehan, Mills, and Cobb. Look at this pressure in the trap. Finally, too many reaches and the reaching call there. Four fouls on Rob Sanders. Sends Bell to the line. 
great free throw shooter. 88.9 coming in. Second in the conference to Villanova's Gary Buchanan. It's his first trip, isn't it? I believe it is. Second trip. Second trip. All right. He made 10 free throws in his last game against Miami. 10 for 10. He's just an ex excellent foul shooter. And a good routine. Terrific delivery. Well, 11 of 19 from the field, 7 of 10 from three-point range, and 2 for 2 at the line, 31 points. Laxa comes back in. He's been quiet over the last seven minutes, so with 13-plus, I think he had reached the 30-point plateau. He's going to run here, too, going for number 25. Back rim. Agby runs it down. They get a chance to extend this lead. They're up by three. It always happens when the roll's on we. We make note of it. He'll get another one going. He's an exceptional foul shooter. Big possession again for BC. Again, Ryan Sidney on the bench with four fouls. Ross, a little too deep. Lacks it and stolen by Bell. Bell goes up and he lays it up. He beat Glenahan and couldn't afford to foul him. Glenahan playing with three fouls. It's 76 71 Boston College. Bell is really trying to will Boston College to get this W at home tonight. Tim Wells came way out on the floor to get a timeout. And about seven or eight seconds ran off the clock before Joe Lindsay got it. His attention was drawn to Tim Wells. Bell just took that ball sure away on the weak side, didn't he? Yeah, muscled him. Check it out. Ball just catches iron, and he just takes it from Laxa. It finishes it. Big basket. Bell has been so quick and aggressive. And as I said earlier, focus from the get-go oh, here tonight. 33 points. He attacked Linehan and Providence immediately in those first two possessions. Been in the papers locally saying this is a put ourselves in this position, but we're healthy now. They came off a big win against Miami, so this is we're in a must-win situation. And when you have that feeling, you've got to step it up. Troy was talking about, hey. We want to get that first round by. We want to finish first. They're five and five. They're two games behind Connecticut. Two and a half games behind Connecticut. Start of this evening, under five and a half to play. Went a hand to Mills. Mills has been outstanding this evening, although he hasn't scored in the last few minutes. Yeah, he's got to get involved, and Providence could really use one here. Sheku Kava, front rim, loose ball, goes to Mills. New clock. Eighteen fouls on the Friars, eighteen fouls on the Eagles. Both clubs shooting one to one. BC man to man tight right now. See if Providence can get some action to the basket again with Linehan penetrating. Linehan in traffic outside Laxon. Kaba, they could swing it baseline to Mills with eight on the shot clock. Linehan gets a look, fires a three, won't go. Rebound goes to Mills. They get another crack. Mills sets up Laxon. That's a three. Short rebound, and by Eagles with the ball up five, four and a half to go. Couple pretty good looks for Providence, but again, long range. They're not getting much down in the paint area right now as they go back to the two three. I think I think you're going to see Providence come out of that two three next time. Oh, nice steal. Sure was. Kenny Walls not strong with the cover inside. Lay it up. Sheku Kaba makes it 76-73. Full court pressure. Nice job by Providence. They're not going anywhere. And Brian Ross did not. Let's see. Did they get the, the timeout, Paul? I thought oh, he did. Oh, oh, Sanders is making sure. Donnie Gray is making sure Sanders reports in correctly. But that was a five-second violation. Amazing. Providence with the immediate pressure. And here's Ryan Sidney with 406 to come back in. Evidently didn't get it in there. The Friars right there with a, a chance to tie it with a three. Here's Lenahan. They re reset now. Tim Welsh with the call. Four minutes to go. Friars down three. Great action. Oh, tremendous. Lenahan. Here's Kaba. Kaba going hard. Top, taken away by Ross. Here's Sidney with Linehan back. He goes behind his back. Walls is there to bail him out. Back to Sidney. Block. Look at the score. It's goaltending. 
You know what? I, uh, that ball on its downward flight, Gomes should have let it go. It didn't look like it had the legs to make it to the basket. It looked, yeah. Timeout on the floor. 3.40 to go. This one's a smoker. 78-73, Boston College. Every car has its moment. This one has thousands per second. The new BMW 3 Series. Test drive the ultimate driving machine at your local BMW center. Another do-it-yourself commercial from Advance Auto Parts. At Advance, we stock a lot of parts. Who cares if we don't have the one you need? And Robbie Kim will demonstrate we do. Robbie, distribute for a 92 T-Bird. Find it, go! <laughs> That's me a locking hub for an 87 Wrangler. Check. Fuel injector for a 75 Dodge Charger. 75 Charger doesn't have fuel injectors. Correct. Proof that at advance, the best part is our people. Who's your daddy? Lumber Liquidators has hardwood flooring for less. Look at these deals on sale right now. Solid oak flooring at 99 cents per square foot. First quality Dura Wood pre-finished oak flooring for an incredible $2.45 per square foot. Pre-finished exotic rose mahogany flooring at $1.99 per square foot. Also now in stock, the best pre-finished flooring made. Husky Coat 50-year pre-finished flooring from $2.95 a square foot. For the best deals on real hardwood flooring, visit Lumber Liquidators. Call 1-877-MILL-DIRECT or LumberLiquidators.com. Tonight's game is being brought to you by BMW. Test drive the ultimate driving machine at your local BMW center. And by ConAgra Foods, we set America's table. Terrific game here at County Forum. 78-73, Boston College leading the Friars. Timeout situation, Providence has a full and a 30, and ditto Boston College. Ryan Sidney back. That 30-second timeout, three minutes for Boston College. They do have the arrow as well. Kaba with Mills, Sanders, Linehan, and Gomes on the floor right now. Walls, Sydney. We've got Bell, Ross, and Agby for Boston College. Tight man-to-man -man by the Eagles. Friars need the penetration. Reverse by Mills. Won't go. Rebound Agby. Yuka Agbai may be the biggest rebound of the game for BC. Cross court, Kenny Walls. No, sir. Agbai had it, lost it. Jump ball, they're going to say. Tied up. BC's going to get it, though. Wow. That's a break for Providence. It looked like Gomes might have had some arm as well, and that would have been five on Gomes. Oh, and it's Providence well, ball. Providence That's a ball, beg your pardon. That's Agbai was 10 points and 10 rebounds. Well, this is just all out hustle by both teams. Oh, yeah, that could have <laughs> That's a break. That got a piece of the man as well as the ball, but great hustle all the way around here tonight. They bring Marcus Douthat into the Providence lineup. 6'10 sophomore. Played well. Yes. Both ends of the court and a good shot blocker as well. Got a couple tonight. Here's Linehan. Sanders, my goodness, what happened here? Brian Ross loses a wrestling match to Douthat, and he picks up the foul as well. Put Douthat at the line for one and one. Stops the clock, 243 in a five-point game. Really battling for position down low. What you don't want to do now is you don't want to stop the clock and foul, give Providence a chance to inch back in, and you'll also see pressure by Providence on the made field goals when they're able to get him to go. that this year under 45 percent but he strokes the first one Kareem Halix is going to come in for Mills Mills with 23 points on 9 of 16 shooting he's got eight boards as well he's going to get back on the bike and 
get warmed up. How about Douthat stepping up and nailing a couple? Off the bench, nothing but net, and here's the full court pressure. BC's going to have to take good care of it. Douthat's got eight points. Almost a steal. They got Walls ahead of the pack. Hammer time! Now Walls can really get out. That's a great job breaking pressure. Half pass Sydney to Walls. Timeout Providence. Walls with 16 points tonight. He's got five rebounds, seven assists. I don't think that's going to be enough to put it away. I can no. tell you that. Not the way this game's been going. We need right the now, buzzer, Dave. Let's take a look at our best play of the game. Brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. And we'll go back to this play from just a couple seconds ago. Close to five seconds just getting it in. Sydney, catch pass. Kenny Walls. There's so much pressure by Providence in BC's backcourt. No one back home. And Kenny Walls is a beautiful Slam jam at the end. Boy, these guys can really rise. 19th in scoring in the Big East. Well, you've got Bell. We've talked a lot about Bell Sydney scoring, and they've done the 40 plus over tonight. And Kenny Walls, that that guy that really helps them get the W's when he plays well, has been very effective here tonight as well. More than 80 points. Been a while since. BC came up with this many points. They had 81 against Seton Hall back on New Year's Eve. Mills back in the game. Sydney playing with four. He played better play position defense and not foul out. He's so aggressive out there. Tim Wells upset saying, hey, should be a foul. Sanders shakes free. Pull up. Foul line, no. And I'll keep it right here. 2.05 in the game clock. Five point lead for Boston College. Tim Wells' club trying to get a sweep here in the regular season of Boston College. BC playing with a purpose. The man to man, good move by Al Skinner, not allowing those open threes. They are really extending in the perimeter. Mills, that's a good job. Look at Agby all the way out up top. Good defense. That's a good three-point shooter. Pass too hard. Gomes couldn't handle it. Sydney takes over. BC coming up with a buck 30 to go up five. Got the ball now. No hurry. Both teams in the bonus situation. If Providence reaches in, they'd be forcing BC into a one-on-one, -on -one, but they're elected here to go for the stop. Oh, nice pass. Sure was. Lamb for Troy Bell. He's got 35. Seven-point lead. 1-10 to go. Linehan trying to get free. BC has killed a lot of clock with that extended defense. Mills takes it down the lane and draws a foul on Troy Bell. Dave. And for Bell, that'll be his second foul. You've got to really clamp down with your defense when you're trying to put a game away. In the last couple of minutes, BC with the man has really made it difficult for Providence to get good open looks, but the Friars... They did a lot of fighting him right down to the wire in this one. Mills, 68% at the line this year. All net on that one for the leading scorer for the Friars. Mills miss, rebound Sydney. Kept his balance. Good athletic move. Boy, he was able to beat Linehan with a quick dribble. And a smart move as he brings it back out. Takes some time off the clock. And they have to foul him. Nice play with 55-5 to go. You would have seen a lot of younger players, maybe less savvy players, probably try to score. But Absolutely. he did the right thing, turn the other way. I saw... Rutgers younger players do that once in a game of Gary Warriors was crazy. You got the ball, you got the lead, you don't have to score. Work some clock. Yeah. Take it down. How about the numbers for Sydney? 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 9 assists. How about that line? That's all around action. Sanders quickly to Linehan. Under 50 to play. They got to get something quickly. Linehan in the paint, tough shot. Loose ball, taken over by Agby. Oh, they're going to 
to get him for the traveling violation. There's a break for Providence. 42 seconds to go. Well, you never know. You yeah. absolutely never well, know two the way possessions. this game's going. That's right. Two possessions, but the extended man's made it tough for Providence to get the three-point shot up. They go inside to Laxa. And looks like Danny Gray's got Kenny Walls. He does. So Kenny Walls, his fourth. BC having a tough time putting this game away. 41 seconds. You don't want to foul and put Providence to the line. And the Friars make free throws, put pressure on. And they're going to have to force BC to make some free throws down the stretch for BC. Get the ball in Troy Bell's hands down the stretch. Black's a pretty good free throw shooter, 77%. First is good. Kalitz and Kaba going to come in with some defense. Mills going to limp off. Make sure he'll be back before this is over, even though there's only 41 2 left. Laxa can't get it. Rebound Sydney. All right, Sydney. That is his ninth rebound, and there's a quick foul. And they get Sanders. Take a look at the ConAgra Foods. And Sanders has just fouled out. We look at the ConAgra Foods Big East standings. Connecticut with the one-game lead starting tonight against Miami. Miami playing St. John's, and at last report, Miami was leading. Big. BC would like to move up. That would put tonight's win, if they can get one, would go to six and five, possibly move into third place. And Providence trying to stay in the hunt. If they could get the win, would move to 500. But how about this? Boston College has Connecticut twice coming down the stretch. Boston College has their next game is at UConn on Saturday, at St. John's Monday. Villanova and UConn at home, and then at Syracuse. Sanders has fouled out. No question, a tough stretch of games for Boston College, but I, I would say, hey, the league this year, every game, a tough one. You gotta take them one at a time, and this has been an absolute battle here tonight with the Friars at home. Sanders fouls out, 12 points, six rebounds, and shot it well, five of nine. Bell to the line, where he's two out of three this evening. He's got 35 points. First one's good. Six-point ball game. Really stepped it up in a big game. Troy Bell, great player for Boston College. Mills is back, replacing Halitz. Animated Al Skinner on the sideline, talking to Donnie Gray. Seven-point lead. Time running real short. On Providence, Mills trying to get free of Sydney. Steps inside, got the layup. Timeout, Providence. Stop the clock with 27.2 to go. Down by five. Tim Walsh has done a good job working the clock, but I, I believe that was their last timeout. Nice move by Mills. With Bell and Sydney, we talked about them right out of the gates. They make this team go, the top two scorers on the team, and they've done it right from the beginning. This Sydney with the steal and the stuff. Bell has been just unbelievable. Sydney, Sydney closing in on a triple double. It works so well together. Nice ball movement there. And Troy Bell has just been on fire tonight. Came out aggressively from minute one, fired up, knowing the importance of this game. Bell on the night with 37 points. That's his second highest total this evening. The 40 uh, for the season. 42 against out Iowa State was his best. Sydney with 16 points and undefeated when they go for 40 plus. Now they're well over it now. They've climbed over 50, so they wanted to put an exclamation point on it. But with a five point game, 27 seconds left in this game, still enough time for Providence to come down. And Tim Walsh got to be saying in there, we've got to get a quick look if it's a two or a three. Three, three would be preferable, and then full court pressure, and then you got to reach because they're out of timeouts. I'm trying to remember the last time Providence was able to get up a three. It's been a while. Been tough with the man. The man pressure the last certainly feels like five, six minutes oh, plus. Yeah. It's been tough. They sent Sydney long. They give it to Bell, though. He's a better free throw shooter. 
Halitz couldn't stay with them. And Halitz got a little wood burn going down there, they, but they stopped the clock with 23-7 left. And guess who Al Skinner said, let's get the ball to him. It was Bell, and he did a nice job to hold on to it because he's saying, I want to get to the line. That's right where you want to be if you're BC. Far and away their best free throw shooter. He's at 88-9 coming in. Wall's at 73. Sydney at 52 and Agby at 69 at the regulars. You know, in the game today, you, you don't see the, the accurate free throw shooting. And Bell, one of those guys, and Gary Buchanan from Villanova, a couple of guys that just become they're close to automatic from the strike. That's right. Buchanan with the NCAA record, 90-something in a row. Unbelievable. I was talking to, again, Tim Welsh earlier and saying, yeah, I almost can't believe that John Linehan won't be here next year. He's very excited about a, a point guard from New York, from Westchester, Donnie McGrath, that'll be joining the program and it's constantly what these coaches are dealing with is replenishing the talent pool that they have. Troy Bell has just made it happen for the Eagles tonight and that's what the great players do. Sure enough, 39 for Bell tonight. Mills inside. Tried to draw some contact. Ross, and they come and foul him with 15-9 to go. Boy, Mills got inside, thought for sure he's going to get hit. Boston College fans get to their feet, acknowledging the fine performance by the Eagles in what has been an extraordinarily hot contest. Offensively, one of the better games you're going to see in the Big East this year. Ryan Ross stepping to the line. He's 59.5% on the season. Oh, this is his first attempt tonight. These three guys have made it happen tonight. Sidney, Bell, Walls is the trio. Wow, that one <laughs> got a lot of room that time. 87-79. That should pretty much do it. Linehan missed the layup. Breakout. Bell. Going for Sydney. Lay it up and in. That's going to do it. 89 79. And Linehan with the final shot. And we've got a final of 89 79. Boston College. The Eagles go to 17 and 7, 6 and 5 in the conference. Providence goes to 14 and 12, 5 and 7 in the Big East Conference. For Ron Perry and our entire ESPN regional crew, this is Dave Sims. Thanks for joining us. Fun game as we move deeper into the season here in the Big East Conference. Boston College by 10. And this has been a presentation of ESPN Plus, the worldwide leader in collegiate sports television. Hope you enjoyed the game, everybody. We'll see you next time.